Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Right Guard Extreme Sport Pro Stop 2 of the Vans Triple Crown of BMX. This event is coming to you from Mountain High Resort in San Bernardino, California. This breakthrough sport of downhill BMX is blowing up, and we're going to bring it to you straight to your living room. Stop two of the Vans Triple Crown of BMX brings us to sunny Southern California right here at Mountain High. There is 1,300 feet of track behind me, and when you think about this track, because it's so big and so burly, you might think about one guy in particular, and that is Robbie Miranda. But really, it's anybody's guess as who will win stop two. When you think about this track, you also think about guts, because without guts, there is no glory. At the finish line, standing by is Cameron Steele and also Craig Reynolds. Well, Higgy Baby, we're on what equates to a BMX course on steroids. Everything is huge here, especially the jumps and the crashes as well. Craig, you are a pro BMX rider. You've ridden in the wind, the wind becoming a huge factor here today. How are the guys going to deal with it? You know, my whole career, I've never been good in the wind, and these 20-inch bikes are so twitchy as it is. Coming down at these speeds on these big jumps, it makes them twice as twitchy. And let me tell you, these jumps are big. You come out of the first turn, you've got a, a pretty hairy set of doubles right there, and it's a crosswind there. You're going to see a lot of guys fighting their bikes if you pay attention. As well as after the, after the second turn, you've got that big four-pack crosswind there, too. So look for the guys to be fighting their bikes the whole track. Danger is definitely an element. Now, people at home might think that well, the spokes are clear in the frame, you know, the wind blows through, but the bike's really like a kite, a sail in the air. You know, we're standing really tall on our bikes, and, you know, the wind, when the wind hits our chest, it's definitely going to push us backwards a little bit or off to the side. And when you go off to the side on your bike, you've got no help. Especially for a guy like you that's strapping, check his chest out. He's making me look like a midget on camera. It's not fair. I don't want to be with the athletes. Let's check out some action up on the course. Here we are on the gate here in Mountain High. About ready to take a lap around the... Second round of the Vans Triple Crown course. Okay, Ryder, let's set him up. Ryder's ready. Watch the gate. Coming out of the gate, little bunny hop jump, step up. Go around the first turn on the inside turn, pirate. Big double. Big 27 foot hip to the left, no problem. Around the next 90 degree turn, big bunny hop jump. Then an easy jump to overshoot, big double. Then you jump into the bonsai. Then over the big step up, come around the last second last turn. Hit the hip into the uh, right side, off the top, over the last triple, down step down, finish line. Excellent run, Scott, and thanks for showing us that great point of view. Well, now that you've seen and heard what the course looks like from the racer's perspective, we head back to the top of the track for the first moto of the competition. In our first stop, Chris Sanchez had the number one qualifying time, but he failed to make it to the final. I'm sure he's hungry today. Chris Schoonover in lane number two. This course pointed downhills could benefit the likes of Brandon Meadows. What about Scott Yokolet, our POV man? He has a real good perspective. So does Mario Soto wearing the goggles. Alan Foster strapping on the goggles as well. And we are off to our first moto here at Mountain High. The Right Guard Extreme Sport Pro is underway. Scott Yokolet loses his foot off his pedal. And right now, we have Brandon Meadows in the lead. In second place, Chris Sanchez. And in third, riding for Answer Factory, is Chris Schoonover. But it is all Brandon Meadows. And once you get a lead on this course, it's going to be interesting to see if you can, in fact, be passed. Four riders advance from each moto to the next round. Right now, we have Brandon Meadows going to take away the first win and the first moto of the day. In second place, it was Chris Sanchez, and Chris Gunover finishes in third. Brandon Meadows, a great way to start the day here. The course looks kind of techy up there. Um, yeah, it's kind of techy. Uh, less pedaling, but just more bike skill, you know? And it's kind of early because you have to go fast for one jump and then break for the next jump. So, you know, it takes a lot of bike skill. 
Well, I briefly mentioned it, but this is how the event breaks down. There's a series of four motos. Each moto will race three times. The top four riders from each of those motos will advance to two semifinal rounds. From there, four riders from each of the semis will advance to our eight-man final. So now we move to moto number two, race number one, and on the line is Jason Donnell. Number 33 can only be Christian Besserine, very fast rider. Also on the hill is Zach Roebuck in lane number three. Out of New York is Justin Lafredo, number 63. The NBL series champion Tomas Allier in lane number five and Bob Rowley in lane number six. His number is 37, mostly number 125 on the edge of your screen. The gate drops, and we're off to a good start. Tomas Allier shoots out of the gate, gets the whole shot. Oh, we lose Zach Roebuck. He goes down. Lance Mosley goes down. Justin Lafredo goes down and takes Bob Rowley with him. Has no effect on the guy in the lead, Tomas Allier. There is carnage everywhere, and Tomas Allier has no idea what's left behind him. He just cares about what's in front of him. He'll take the first moto of the day in his division, and in second place right now, it is Jason Donnell. But it's all Tomas Allier. He gets the whole shot, holds on, looks back, and sees Jason Donnell, Kristen Besserine, and Zach Roebuck. Tomas, the new NBL champion, number one plate, this van triple crown would be great to add to your trophy collection, wouldn't it? Uh, for sure, it would be a great, a great year. It's already a great year with the NBL title, but that event uh, means something to me. That's, I think, it's going to be the future of BMX, and uh, I will be. Uh, it will be great to uh, to be the first one to to win that. But you know, every, everybody can win. The, the track is very, very hard. You have to be smooth everywhere, and uh, that's make harder everything. We're two motos down, but we still have lots to come. Who will be left standing when the checks are written? Put it on, bring it on. By Mountain Dew, who supports athletes and their sports. And by Vans, the worldwide brand for core sports. Hey, guy, we're going over the first jump, second jump. Following the pack here, you can see everybody in front of me. Oh, the big double. Oh, we got a crack. Well, how fun does this track look on board with Scott Yokolet? You'll see more of that a little bit later on. But right now, we go to moto number three, race number one, with Kevin Tomko on the line. Also at the starting gate is Chris Ricker, representing Haro, Jamie Staff. Number 26 is the one and only Ryan James. Next to him is Brian Smith in lane number five. We also have Kevin Royal in lane number six, and Percy Owens next to him, and Robert DeVille Day in lane number eight. Man, this is a loaded field. Okay, riders, we'll set them up. Riders ready. Watch the gate. We'll see if the whole shot proves to be everything in this race. Robert DeVille Day on the outside. Jamie Staff on the inside. Jamie Staff gets the whole shot, the first turn, and the lead. Behind him is Harlow teammate rider Kevin Tomko. And we lose Ryan James off the big 27-foot hip. As a matter of fact, that is three riders going down in three motos in that area. So we have the Harlow teammates right up front. Jamie Staff and Kevin Tomko riding like they've done this hundreds of times before off the big table, approaching the last part of this track to the finish line. And it is Jamie Staff, our winner. He led the entire time, followed by Kevin Tomko, Kevin Royal, Robert DeVilde in fourth, and Brian Smith finishes up in fifth. He is the new star in BMX. I won the first round. And basically, I'm coming out here to get the overall title. And that's going to take a lot of consistency. Uh, making it through the day, surviving the race. Of course, everyone's good at this track at just surviving the race and making the main. That's all I'm trying to do. This track is so hard. Um, the jumps are big, they're huge, they're scary. The turns are fast. The turns are also, they're all getting loose, too. People are riding around skidding. So you got to be careful and not slide out. It's pretty nerve-wracking leading a series like this. Um, not only is the, the money to win at the per event pretty, pretty outrageous, but there's a $40,000 first place overall prize, and that that can change your life, and I'm just hoping I get that, but it just seems so far away, you know? I'm in first now. Bring it on. 
All right, Robbie Miranda, one of the hardest working riders in the sport of BMX. Also on the hill today is Paul Bailey in lane number two. In lane number three is Travis Turris in super fast racer. Successful on the NBL circuit is Kyle Bennett in lane number four. Lane number five is wide open, but in lane number six, it is Andy Contest. In lane number seven is Mark Melton. And following up with the seven riders on the hill in lane number eight is Brian Streeby. Okay, riders, let's start them out. This track is very technical. It's a downhill track. That's what is so fun about it. And right in front, getting the whole shot is all in green. Robbie Miranda. Robbie Miranda starting where he left off at Camp Woodward, right there in first place. Very little pedaling on this track. And when you do pedal, it's just a couple cranks here and there. Getting ready to jump the big road. Boom. Kyle Bennett in second place. And in third, it's Andy Contest. But nobody's going to catch Robbie Miranda on his first moto of the day. Off the table towards the finish line. A solid race by Robbie Miranda. Finishing in second place is Kyle Bennett. And in third, a solid run by Andy Contest. Mark Melton in fourth and Brian Streeby in fifth. Robbie Miranda, the winner at Stop 1 Woodward. Looks like you're right back in the saddle again. Oh, you know, this track is awesome. I'm just out here having a lot of fun. Uh, my bike's perfect. DK bike's holding up great on this track. Max's tires are sticking. The winner collects behind me. So I'm doing great out here. Well, we travel all over the country with the Vance Triple Crown of BMX, and John McCauley is definitely happy to have us here, here at Mountain High. And normally, we are standing in about two feet of snow, but it is summertime, exactly. and you welcome this event. How's it going off for you guys? This is a great event. I'm amazed at some of the riders they brought out today. I was just talking with Chuck, and he said, you know, our ski instructors came out here, and they saw this course, and they thought they were actually going to leave it for snow season. Exactly. They were <laughs> saying, leave it. We want to ride it in the wintertime, but uh, this, this is going to go away. We actually went on, on one of our beginner trails right now, so this will be smoothed out a little bit. John, tell us what goes down here in the wintertime here at Mountain High. One thing about Mountain High that I think that everybody should know, especially if they don't want to do a lot of driving, that it's easy driving. No mountain driving getting here, and when you do get here, they're in for a lot of fun. Exactly. Yeah. Mountain High is Southern California's closest resort. We're just 15 minutes off the uh, I-15 freeway and just a little over an hour and a half from uh, Los Angeles. So it's a great resort. And most people don't realize that Southern California has mountains that are above 10,000 feet. So we really do have some good wintertime conditions up here. John, when you first heard about this event, did you have any idea that it involved BMX racers going as big as they are today? You know, I had no idea what to expect. And the guys that are out here are doing some of the most amazing things that I've ever seen. So it's really exciting. And it's only going to get more exciting as moto number one, race two, is coming your way. In the first race of this moto, it was Brandon Meadows, the winner. So far, the whole shot has been key in every single race of every single moto. And Brandon Meadows back out in front. Scott Yokolet in second place. A good duel going on right here. Let's see if there's going to be a pass made today. So far, we haven't seen a pass being made after the whole shot. Scott Yokolet coming in on the inside. Brandon Meadows, Scott Yokolet. Oh, Meadows cases the jump. Can Scott Yokolet get by him? And yes, he does. Meadows is in the valley. He is not going to win this race. It's going to be Scott Yokolet. Wow. He really placed his position perfectly in the pass. So Scott Yokolet finishes first, Sanchez in second, and Schoonover in third. Hey, it's the process of elimination, so stick around to see who stays and who goes. Everybody and welcome back to the Right Guard Extreme Sport Pro. Stop two of the Vans Triple Crown of BMX on a beautiful day here at Mountain High Resort. We move now to moto number two, race number two. Tomas Allier, the winner of the first race of this moto. We'll see if he can make it two underneath his belt. The top half of this track has been tricky. Coming out of the first turn, we have 
Tomas Allier in the lead. Bob Rowley next to him. Oh, Rowley goes down hard. So it is Tomas Allier. And then there goes Lafredo with the Little League slide down the hip. Tomas Allier, he is in first place. Jason Donnell also went down. Even though it's a beautiful day here in Mountain High, lightning strikes twice for this moto. Tomas Allier, the very same thing happened the first time around. He got the lead. There was all kinds of carnage behind him. He never looked back over the table, coasting no problem in moto number two. Two, race number two and in second place Tomas looks back to see Zach Roebuck Lance Mosley in third Danelle in fourth and Lafredo in fifth man can it get any better than this we'll find out here in moto number three and in moto number three race number one it was Jamie Staff our winner we're underway. Is Jamie Staff going to win this one? No, he's not even going to get the whole shot. The whole shot's going to belong to Robert DeVilde. Oh, going down hard once again is Ryan James. Robert DeVilde in first place, currently in second. Doing a great job today is Kevin Tomko. Ryan Schmidt in third, representing Specialized in Mountain Dew. But it's the Frenchman cruising right now. Robert DeVilde, so strong. Near the bottom of the course, nobody is really by him. Kevin Tomko is a distant second, but he's having a good showing in the first two races of his moto. Robert DeVilde comes away with the win, as I said. Kevin Tomko in second, Brian Smith, Jamie Staff, and Kevin Royal wrap up the top five. Robert DeVilde having a little bit of tough time up here at uh, Mountain High. Some crashes, but coming through with the big moto win there. Yeah, I'm trying to keep my mind to it, and... Uh... Uh, mentally, I'm still strong. Some people pull off because you can't pull it mentally. I'm still there, so I'm happy to do that. And my GT bicycle is going really good, so uh, everything is going fine. In moto number four, race one, it was Robbie Miranda starting where he left off at Camp Woodward in first place. Now we move into race number two. Riders ready. Watch the game. Great deal of tension at the starting line and the idea not to strangle your handlebars. Robbie Miranda on the outside will not get the whole shot. In first place right now, it's Kyle Bennett. Kyle Cruz in the big 27-foot hip. We have riders going down, but Kyle Bennett over the big gap. Robbie Miranda in second place. The top four racers from each moto at the end of three races move to the semifinals. So Kyle Bennett looking strong. Robbie Miranda very comfortable in second place, but Kyle Bennett with a very solid race out of the gate, the whole shot all the way down. Kyle Bennett, Robbie Miranda, Brian Streeby, Travis Turson, and Andy Contest are top five. Well, it wouldn't be a Vance Triple Crown event without this guy for two reasons. One, Steve Van Doren. Vans, you get it? He puts it all together. And the other reason is he brings tons of personality to the event. Steve, you're always at the events. You can just, you know, say I'm sponsoring it, stay at home with your feet up, but you're here on the mountain at the event. You always have fun, and you, are you at all the shows? I'm, I'm at all the shows, you know. You ask my wife, because I'm always in trouble. But, uh, you know, it's something that, you know, we like being part of. Last night, we put on a little party for all the athletes. Folks there, girlfriends, guys, they all came down shooting pool. Just had a good time, got to know a lot of the riders and stuff. That's, that's, that's what we're all about. It's neat seeing some of the new riders today, and all of a sudden we hear they having babies and stuff. In all sports, like Caballero having a baby, Mike Frazier three days ago had a baby. All these athletes that I've watched for years are now having kids. My daughter, she's 23 years old now, so I'm trying to age myself here. But they're, they're out here working their butts off, you know, for, you know, 40000 and a bonus of another 80000 They want to see, you know, people here. And I think we had a good crowd yesterday, and we got a better crowd coming up today. And, you know, they deserve to have, uh, you know, executives from our company as well as all the industry come out and root them on. As you said, Cameron, it would not be a Vans event without the likes of Steve Van Doren. Moto number one, race number three. This is the last time you'll see this group together because only four advance to the next round out of this moto. Brandon Meadows and Scott Yokolet have wins underneath their belt out of this moto. Then Chris Schoonover. Oh, Schoonover, just when I started to say he's looking good, takes his own direction on this track, leaving Alan Foster in first place. Alan and his wife just had a new baby girl a couple weeks ago. Congratulations goes out to him. Chris Sanchez in second place, right near Alan Foster, out of the bonsai dip, into the left turn. Can Sanchez make a pass here? Nobody has made a pass in the lower section of the track. Sanchez 
Sanchez off the table. Alan Foster in the lead, and it's going to be at the bottom of the track. Oh, at the finish line. Oh, my goodness. Take a look at Sanchez taking out the Mountain Dew banner. So it's Alan Foster in first place, Sanchez in second, followed by Brandon Meadows. Hey, we have three more races to find out who will be the final 16 to advance to the next round. And it's seven, Tennessee versus Georgia on ESPN. When you point BMX downhill with big jumps and big gaps, anything can happen. When we started today in this moto, seven racers were up on the hill. But Kristen Besserine and Bob Rowley are out due to injury. Five racers left to know. Tomas Allier slips a pedal at the gate, but that really won't hurt him too much because he already has two first place finishes. So he undoubtedly will move on to the next round. In first place, it's Jason Donnell. He has a second place finish today, a fourth place finish today, and if he wins here, he'll definitely move on. In second place is Justin Lafredo. He has no chance of moving on because he crashed twice today. So he will not move on, but Jason Donnell will. In third place, it's Lance Mosley. Lance, with his third place finish, will move on to the next round, as will Tomas Allier. So Jason Donnell, Lafredo, Mosley, and Roebuck are our top four finishers. Finishers. While our next group of racers are transported to the top for the next moto, we caught up with the likes of Kevin Tomko, who has two second place finishes today. How does this track differ between the last track and itself? It's just a lot longer. I mean, it's, it's going to take more stamina this time, and there's actually uh, a lot more skill involved on this level. These jumps are further and uh, more technical. It's not as much speed as, much as it is uh, just being able to handle your bike well in the air and, and know where you want to land. And that's that's what makes the big difference. Um, the first track was more speed and uh, hanging on, and this one's speed plus hanging on, and then you got to add in a lot of skill as well. Competition level is going to be stiff. I mean, the only reason the guys would drop out of a competition like this is because they know that, uh, they just know that it's not their game. But you got guys that can't compete at the other level that are really able to do this well. I mean, this is definitely catered to the, uh, the bike handler and not as much the power rider. These guys are able to, uh, the guys that can do this are able to, uh, to make mains at regular BMX races and they're able to uh, do these jumps. Probably better than the double A's that are powerful. When racing starts, it's gonna be one man for himself. I mean, these, at a normal BMX race, you might have uh, a couple of guys with some camaraderie and, and uh, not really elbowing anybody in turns, but this is, uh, it's too dangerous to worry about someone else out there. So when you got eight guys coming off that gate, it's gonna be, it's gonna be every man for himself and uh, it's gonna be some extreme riding. I mean. You're going to see so much bumping. Uh, so many guys just looking for their own line that there's going to be no, no, one, no one looking for favors out there, and there's no one, no one going to be giving it either. Strong words and great information by Kevin Tomko. He will move on to the semis with his two second-place finishes. Robert DeVilde won the last race of this moto. Doesn't matter where Kevin Tomko places because he's already moving on to the next round. Robert DeVilde in the middle of your screen over the big gap getting ready for the 27-foot hip. No problem. Robert DeVilde followed by Jamie Staff in second place. Jamie won the first moto, placed fourth in the second moto. So if he has a good finish here, he will definitely move on. Robert DeVilde looking very comfortable over the bonsai jump. That's actually over a road that the riders are trying transported to the top of the hill. Jamie Staff locking up second place, but Robert DeVilde getting the whole shot, never really looking back until the finish line. Jamie Staff in second, Kevin Royal in third. Stop number two on the Vance Triple Crown is the Right Guard Extreme Sport Pro. The guys came into the first stop not knowing what to expect. Maybe they weren't set up correctly. Robbie Miranda, the winner in stop one. Robbie, what have you changed for your bike for the second event? You know what's coming this time. You know, Cameron, I, uh, I know it's going to be a high-speed high, high speed track here, so I put some uh, a fatter Maxxis tire on the back, a little more tread, hook up in the turns a lot better. My DK bike's running great. You know, um, Pankin and Fox got me new gear. So um, I'm out here hooking up on the track, hoping to pull a good win today. Well, we talked about changes in the bike. Talk about changes in safety gear. At some events, I bet you don't wear that chest protector. Well, I got this chest protector on now. I got a new paint can helmet. Um, scratched it up pretty good the other day. Um, it's definitely saving my head. Chest protector saving my body. Um, you need this stuff out here. You're going really fast. This isn't, this isn't games. You know, this is for real. Well, he's definitely got the battle marks to prove it. Winner on stop one. We'll see if he can do it again today. 
Thanks, Cameron, and good luck, Robbie. Well, we have just one moto left, then on to the semis to find out what final eight will advance to the main race. sitting here on the gate with a few of my friends. We're going to take a lap. I'm going to follow them. They're going to show us exactly what's going on when they're leading the pack and what it's like to be behind the pack. We got Mark Bobby. Melton sitting here beside me. Beside him, we got Ma Robbie Miranda. Beside him, we got Justin Lafredo. And then we have Zach Roebuck in the inside. Here we go. Okay, riders, let's set them up. Riders, ready. Watch the gate. Here we go, we're going over the first jump, second jump. Following the pack here, you can see everybody in front of me. Oh, with the big double. Oh, we got a crash. He's all right. Oh, with a big hip. Everybody's still in front of me, riding smooth. Oh, with a big bunny hop down. Oh, with a jump that's really easy to overshoot. So I get a little squirrely. Hanging on now. Woo! Big hammer. Here we go, over the hip in the last turn. Everybody seems smooth. Relax. Oh, 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 we got people bailing left and right. Uh, BMX racing pointed downhill has never been more fun. Kyle Bennett, Mark Melton, Robbie Miranda, Travis Turson, Andy Contest, and Brian Streeby. Moto number four, race number three. Four racers out of this moto will advance to the semifinal round. Robbie Miranda, he has placed first and second in the first two motos, has a huge lead. Robbie getting bucked off that 27-foot hip, has to put a foot down, but it is no problem for Robbie Miranda, known for his big jumping skills. This course fits him perfectly. Travis Turrison in second place, but Robbie Miranda will advance to the next round, which is the semifinal round. Getting a little loose. He told you about the dirt getting loose here and there. They've done a great job of watering down the track. Travis Turrison coming away with the win. Robbie Miranda in second, Mark Melton in third, and Streeby in fourth. 12 races under our belt. We've had some serious ups and downs. Let's now take a look at some of the less fortunate runs on this very unforgiving course. BMX racers are tough as nails. All the motos are completed. When we come back, we'll show you who advanced and why. Welcome to Jurassic Park. Everybody and welcome back to the Right Guard Extreme Sport Pro. Stop two of the Vans Triple Crown of BMX right here at Mountain High Resort in San Bernardino, California. Well, with 12 races completed, only 16 racers have advanced to the semi. Here, we recap each moto to show you who advanced and why. In Moto 1, Race 1, it was all Brandon Meadows. He got the whole shot and he never looked back, going all the way from start to finish in the lead. So Brandon wins the first race of the day. In moto number one, race two, it looked like it was going to be Brandon once again. But he cases the jump. Scott Yokelet goes around him. Scott Yokelet wins moto one, race two. In the third race of this moto, it was dominated by Alan Foster. But not far behind was Chris Sanchez, who takes second place for the third time today. So these four advanced to the semis out of this moto. Sanchez, Foster, Yokelet, and Brandon Meadows. 
In moto number two, race one, it was controlled by the Frenchman, Tomas Allier. He avoided the pileup, stayed smooth and in control for the win. In moto number two, race two, once again, Tomas Allier with the whole shot, staying in front all the way to the finish line. In Moto2, race three, Allier had trouble at the gate, but Jason Donnell had no problem as he cleaned towels with a first place victory. So in Moto number two, these four advance to the semi. Jason Donnell, Zach Roebuck, Lance Mosley, and Tomas Allier. Moving on to Moto number three, race one, it belonged to Team Haro, with Jamie Staff and Kevin Tomko taking first and second. Moto 3 race 2 was all Robert DeVille Day, his smooth style making him untouchable throughout this course. Moto 3 race 3 was once again Robert DeVille Day busting out in front of the field and making it look easy. So out of this moto, we have Jamie Staff, Kevin Tomko, Robert DeVille Day, and Kevin Royal advancing to the semifinal round. In moto number four, race one, it's Robbie Miranda in lane one with the whole shot, living up to the expectations as the current champion from stop number one, taking the victory. Moto four, race two, this time it's Kyle Bennett. He got the whole shot, made his presence known as he takes first place over Robbie Miranda, who finished in second. In moto number four, race three, Robbie Miranda and Kyle Bennett are neck and neck. Benick falls short on the landing and goes down. Travis Turrison just edges out Miranda for first place. What a race. So out of moto number four, Kyle Bennett, Mark Melton, Robbie Miranda, and Travis Turrison advance to the semis. Now that you're all caught up when we return, it's time to find out who wants it the most in semi-final number one. 800 Classic. The track is groomed and the racers are at the gate for semi-final number one of the Right Guard Extreme Sport Pro, stop two of the Vans Triple Crown of BMX. Eight men enter and only four will advance to the main for a chance at the big money. Jason Donnell in lane number one. In lane two, Chris Sanchez, who had the fastest qualifying time from stop number one. Uh, basically, it looks like the main competition is uh, Robbie Miranda, Travis Tourson, and Thomas Elliott. Um, I felt that they were my toughest competition at the last events as well, so uh, I've just got to go out there and put it to them. Doing the downhill stuff, you don't really have to build your own speed. You have your speed coming down the hill. At a normal BMX event, you got to build your own speed. So the difference is, is just uh, it's speed control coming down the hill. If you're going too fast, you're going to overshoot gaps. And at a normal event, you got to you have to build build up your own speed or you can't clear the jump so it's to it's, it's totally different my feeling towards vans putting on this event i mean i couldn't ask for a better event you know i've been waiting for something like this to happen for years and, um i'm proud to ride for them and i'm glad they're putting this on i think it's really stepping up the competition well does anybody else think that brandon meadows looks like steve swope behind that helmet in lane number four scott yokolette and lane number five, Tomas Allier, winning today already in his moto. Zach Roba comes away with lane number six. In lane number seven, we have Alan Foster. Congratulations goes out to him and his wife and the new baby girl. Lance Mosley in lane number eight. Okay, riders, let's set them up. Riders ready, watch the gate. The top four advance to the main event. Here we go. This is semifinal number one. Tomas Allier with the whole shot, currently in the lead. Brandon Meadows in second place. Tomas Allier all out in front, in first. Take a look at Tomas, controlling, dominating, so smooth on this course. Second place, Brandon Meadows. Right now, Chris Sanchez is in third. And in fourth, we have Scott Yokolette putting on some pressure in fifth place right now. We have Zach Roebuck, but it's Tomas Allier all the way. Off the table, down to the finish. Tomas totally in control, will win this semifinal. And this is how it started. Tomas getting the whole shot in yellow right there in the center part of your screen. He edges out Brandon Meadows. And then right here, you approach a left-hand turn. It's a huge hip, 27 feet. 
That turn brings him into the middle section of the track. Sanchez slips a pedal, stays up on his bike, and he manages to hold on. But it's Tomas, Brandon Meadows, Chris Sanchez, and Scott Yokolet advancing to the main event. We're here at semi-main event winner number one, Tomas Allier. Tomas, that was a really smooth lap. How'd you feel? I feel so happy to, to make the main. That was the first goal to uh, doesn't crash and, and try to ride smooth the whole day long and make the man that's, that's a great day. So once again, Tomas Allier, Brandon Meadows, Chris Sanchez, and Scott Yokolet advance to the final. When we come back, semi-final number two. Welcome back, everybody. The stage is set, and it's time for action. We're headed into semifinal number two of the Vance Triple Crown of BMX. We're down to the last field of eight, and these gentlemen are ready to do battle. Which four will advance to join the others in the main event? Some anxious riders at the starting line, including Kevin Royal in lane number one, and lane number two, Kyle Bennett, super strong rider. Lane number three, Travis Turrison. And in lane number four, winner of stop number one, Robbie Miranda. In preparation for this race, I've been basically doing nothing. You know, I have a big scare about getting hurt. Um, sitting home, making a website, RobbieMiranda.com. Um, taking my, you know, doing that a lot and staying off my bike, just getting ready for this race. And I know I can do this, and I'm not going to, by not riding, I'm not going to lose anything. So this sport, in the future, I hope it's going to, it's gonna get crazier like this. This track's pretty crazy right now. We're at a uh, Mountain High Ski Resort. They built an awesome track here. I hope hope the tracks get longer. Hope they get smoother. Hope more people come out to the event. You know, it's getting big. We're doing crazy stuff out here. I think people need to see this. A lot of riders are skeptical about this track. They think that eight riders aren't gonna make it down the, the hill all at once here, the first straight at Mountain High. Um, but you know, it's a race. This is the first 50 feet of the track right here, the first straightaway. Um, it's gonna take some practice. It's gonna take some some skill and a, and a lot of the balls to the walls, I guess, you know? You gotta get out there and go and just hope for the best. Seems like all the pressure is on Robbie's shoulders. Next to him in lane number five is Jamie Staff, and in lane number six is the freshman, wildly successful, Robert DeVilde. Um, yeah, the competition is really hard, you know, and uh, just try to do my best and uh, try to get a good game, and that's the most important thing in BMX. So that's what I have to do. Track is going good. So uh, hopefully I'm going to win. First set is kind of short, so you have to get a good gate and try to get on the inside of the turn. Uh, if you get stuck on the outside, you're not going to make it. So uh, if you're on the inside and you get a good pedal for the double and you hit the rest, I think it's good from there on. You just keep your rhythm going and try not to hit puddles and all that stuff. So I think. Um, I think it's gonna be okay. Here it's like you have to, it's like riding trails, but then like 10 times as big and going three times as fast or even faster than that. So it's uh, it's hard to train on that because you don't have it like a track out where somewhere you can train on. So they build up this track and they tear it down on Monday. So no practicing on it, that anymore. So just trying to do my best and that's it. Well, he's doing his best, so are the likes of Kevin Tomko in lane number seven. And in lane number eight, we have Mark Melton. Okay, riders, let's set him up. Riders ready, sure, watch the gate. Four of these eight racers advance to the next round, which is the main event. Coming into the first turn, Travis Turrison battling it out with Robert DeVille. Robbie Miranda goes down. Robbie Miranda will not make it to the final. The real battle is between Robert DeVilde and Travis Turrison. Both of these guys will move to the final, so it really doesn't matter who places first or second. Robert DeVilde in total control. And in third place, Kyle Bennett. In fourth place, Kevin Tomko, who's had an outstanding day. But it is Robert DeVilde down to the triples, the step down, and into the finish line. It's hard to believe that Robbie Miranda will not make it to the final. We take another look at what happened. In the first turn, it was Travis Turrison getting the whole shot.
keep an eye on Robbie Miranda in green. He takes the double, but lands well short, causing him to get pitched off his bike, leaving DeVilde and Turrison to battle it out. DeVilde gets the inside on the berm and just creates a gap between himself and Turrison, and it was all Robert DeVilde after that. So Robert DeVilde staying poised and composed to win this semifinal. Moving on, Robert DeVilde, Travis Turrison, Kyle Bennett, and Kevin Tomko. Had a tough crash yesterday, and today you win the semi and you edge out Robbie Miranda, who's the series leader. How do you feel about going into the main? Yeah, I'm feeling really good, and it uh, gives me and Thomas a uh, good opportunity to catch up with uh, the top riders. Jamie didn't make it, Justin, didn't, uh, Justin Lafredo didn't make it, so that, that was the top three in Woodward. So hopefully we can catch up and do good tomorrow and get the, the jackpot. So it's Robert DeVilde, Travis Turris, and Kyle Bennett and Kevin Tomko advancing to the main event. Joining this group of four from semifinal number one. You've seen the races that have provided the Elite Eight. When we come back, we'll point them downhill for the main event. The Right Guard Extreme Sport Pro has been brought to you by Right Guard Extreme Sport. Put it on, bring it on by Mountain Dew, who supports athletes and their sports. And by Vans, the worldwide brand for core sports. Hi everybody, and welcome back to the Right Guard Extreme Sport Pro Stop 2 of the Vans Triple Crown of BMX. As we get set for the final, there's a great deal of anticipation at the starting line. Before we get to that, though, we told you about Robbie Miranda. He was favored to win this event, but he crashed in his semifinal round just moments ago. We had an opportunity to talk with him. Robbie Miranda, you went down in the semi. It's got to be really tough for you. You're the series leader and the, and the, the crowd favorite to win this. Well, if I had my Pro Circuit Honda out here, I'd be doing a lot better. It's a BMX bike. People go down. Um, shattered my hopes today, but there's another, there's another race coming soon. Um, I just want to get out there the next time and, and make the main. Robbie, it looked like your gate was a little bit late, and you kind of tangled with uh, Jamie Seth coming out of the first turn. Yeah, my gate wasn't the best it could have been. Um, I came out of the first turn, which everyone was in, the little turn on the inside, and uh, Jamie just swung out a little bit hit me, and I thought I could pull it, but next thing you know, I was sliding on my head, and that's not where I wanted to be. Was there a little added pressure on you in that semi? Uh, not really. I had gate four. It's perfect. Um, I just had to get out, make the main. Top four It's not that hard. And, you know, these things happen. I'm leading points, so I'm not out of the money totally, but, you know, I can still I can still take this thing overall if I do good the next time. What about Robbie Miranda's attitude? Man, he has a great attitude, and we wish him the best of luck in stop number three. Well, Robbie's going to sit back and watch this thing as we are. So let's go to the starting gate and find out what our eight racers are thinking about. I'm trying to get a good gate. That's it, actually. I'm trying to get up front and then just go with it. Just let it go. The track is fine, I got no problems with it. The problem is just you have to get out of the gate real fast and that's it, actually. You well know that, uh, that anyone on this gate has a really good chance of winning this main. I mean, it's, it's every man for himself out there and uh, the track's not forgiving anywhere. So it's gonna be the guy who uh, has the most consistent first turn and uh, has the most consistent lap. I hope that guy's me and the outcome comes the guy who wins will be the guy who made it to the bottom and maybe not necessarily the guy who's the fastest guy. So we'll see. Cal Bennett, also known as Butter, You've been going smooth and fast all day. Now you're in the main event. What are you looking to do when that gate falls? Uh, looking to really just get a good gate, put together a clean lap. You know, the tracks, this is the third track they built. They keep getting better. I'm really psyched for the track. I'm psyched to really be in the main. I can't believe it. Uh, just hope to put together a clean lap, get out of the gate good. Got gate four, lines you right up for the inside berm. What do you think you're going to do when you get there? I'm um, just going to um, get a snap and uh, just get over there and get in that groove and that turn and just go for it, you know, and hopefully I, I hit that jump in the top three and uh, just going to take it from there and try to take it to the bottom of the hill. $11,800 awaits the winner. Tomas Allier in lane number one will have the inside track looking down the hill. Next to him, Kevin Tomko in lane number two. Travis Turrison, who's been very solid in lane number three. Chris Sanchez, we just spoke to him in lane number four. In lane number five, Robert DeVilde, a strong Frenchman. Watch out for him. In lane number six, Scott Yokolet. Thanks a lot, Scott, for wearing our POV cam today. Brandon Meadows in lane number seven. and lane number eight, he said he was surprised and thrilled to be in the final, Kyle Bennett. Okay, riders, let's set him up. Riders ready, sure, watch the gate. 
The whole shot is oh so important in this race, and we are underway. The main event, $11,800 at the finish line. And take a look at Tomas Allier. Tomas gets the whole shot. The two Frenchmen. Oh, look at Devilde. Devilde makes the pass. Oh, Tomas Allier won't even finish the race. Tomas Allier is out of the race. Robert Devilde, he is in first place. Travis Turnison goes down. Currently in second place, we have Chris Sanchez, followed by Kevin Tomko. What an outstanding start between Devilde and Tomas Allier. It's going to be Robert Devilde. An amazing turn of events here in turn number one. Tomas Allier gets the whole shot on the inside, the left part of your screen. Robert Devilde will now be on the inside after they go over this hip. Robert Devilde on the inside. Tomas Allier looks to be running out of room, looks down, sees Robert Devilde go right by him. From there on out, it was Robert Devilde. Tomas Allier finishes in eighth. So the top four, Robert Devilde, Chris Sanchez, Kevin Tomko, Kyle Bennett. And then fifth through eighth, Scott Yokolet, Brandon Meadows, Travis Turrison, and Allier. Standing here with the first and second place winners today, Robert Devilda and Chris Sanchez. Sanchez, you had a really good start, came into the second turn, and you made a pretty outstanding move. Yeah, um, I just uh, went low in the turn and just hung on and uh, just uh, came out and went for the double, cleared it, so I, I knew I was good to go for the rest of the track. I, I wanted to try to push to catch up to Robert, but uh, he, was, he was too far in front and you know, I just didn't want to take a chance of overshooting something and my race ending there and ended up in eighth, so I just held on for my second. Well, thanks, Chris, and uh, congratulations. Thanks. Robert, you laid a carve down in that second turn, similar to Sanchez, and uh, it was a little bit more lucrative. You came in for first place. Yeah, I was, uh, when I was in the air, I heard, heard Thomas yelling like, oh, and I got scared a little bit too, so uh, we both didn't crash, that's a good thing, and uh, I got lucky I had inside, and. Uh, Pushed them up a little bit, but from there on, it was like trying to be smooth on the track, and that's what you have to do on this track. Keep your mind to it and go for it. Well, Robert definitely went for it, taking first place at the Right Guard Extreme Sport Pro. Stop two, the Vans Triple Crown of BMX. Hey, we want to thank everyone that made this event possible. If you liked what you have seen here, well, stay tuned for Stop 3 right back here at Mountain High Resort in San Bernardino, California. This is a new and rapidly growing sport, and we're looking forward to Stop 3. For Cameron Steele and for Craig Reynolds, I'm Paul Higgins. Thanks so much for watching and supporting BMX like you've never seen it before. Take care, everybody. This has been a presentation of ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. For more information, log on to expn.com. Part of the Go Network, go.com.